He may not have Brady's rings, but Matt Castle now has two marks that Tom Brady does not. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horowitz, glad to be with you on this week's edition of Gillette's Phenomenal Players. And there's no mistake about it. The Patriots' current quarterback, not even close to the Patriots' former quarterback. But what Castle has done the last two weeks, Tom Brady has never done. First of all, last week when Castle tossed for 400 and ran for more than 60 in the same game, he did something no quarterback in NFL history had ever done. But when he led the Patriots to more than 500 total yards of offense for a second straight week, he accomplished something that the team had never done since the merger. He also became just the fifth player since the merger to chuck 400 yard games in consecutive weeks. So a young quarterback with that history on his resume, how about the job of Trent Edwards fighting recent history to be a phenomenal player in week 12. While New England put up 48, Edwards led Buffalo to 54, second highest total in team history and most ever allowed by the Chiefs. Edwards threw for two scores, ran for two scores, and helped Buffalo snap a four-game losing skid. Speaking of the number four, that's the number of touchdowns Michael Turner had against the Panthers on Sunday. 45-28, Atlanta gets the 7-4 and four on the season, and against Carolina, it was even more impressive. Turner amassed more than 100 yards, just the second back to do that all season against the Panthers, who to this point had only given up six rushing touchdowns. He nearly doubled that in one game. How about Terrell Owens breaking out of a slump in a big way? He has had some huge games in his career, but only one game with more yards than he had on Sunday. 213 receiving against one of his old teams. That on just seven catches, including a 75-yard score. T.O. hadn't had a 100-yard game all season, let alone a 200-yard game. And how about Ed Reed making Donovan McNabb's life miserable? But it's the interception he had thrown by Kevin Cobb that made history. 108-yard interception return for a touchdown, the longest in the game's illustrious pass. Reed in total two picks, the first uh, interception for him since the Ravens' second game of the season, all part of a 36-7 win and all part of now creating a quarterback controversy in Philadelphia. Of course, talking about Andy Reid pulling McNabb at the half and saying he'll make his announcement on Monday on who will start for Philly on Thursday. That'll do it for this week's edition of Gillette's Phenomenal Players, but for more, be sure to stay with CBSSports.com. I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.